Hi guys, welcome to Code Artisan Lab. This is second video for hotel management system in Laravel. And in this video, we are going to set up our project and uh, we will do multiple tasks. So here is a list of tasks that uh, we are going to do in this video. First of all, we will uh, we will uh, install XAMPP server as you know because we are work, uh, we are going to work in a PHP, so we need a server. So you can install XAMPP server. You can install WAMP server. Okay, you can install LAMP server that is for Linux. Okay, so whatever you need, you can install. There are lots of server you can install that. Uh, you are doing Laravel, so you know about this already. Okay, so in the second step, we will uh, work with the composer. So composer is a PHP dependency management tool. It will install the packages uh, from the packages.org. Okay, and uh, then we will install Laravel via composer command and uh, with the help of uh, after installing the Laravel, we will create a project uh, which is our hotel management system. Then we will uh, download and configure the Bootstrap 5 and we will create a, just a demo page or just a home page that is a demo page and we will run that in the browser. So these are the tasks that we are going to do in this video. We can uh, skip this first task because uh, I assume that if you are going to do Laravel, so you have already about already know about the server. Okay. So let's uh, jump to the uh, let's jump to the second step. So we need to install the composer. So before installing that, we need to download the composer. So you can down you can simply go to the Google and uh, run download composer, and you can download the composer according to your operating system. Get composer dot org. Okay. So steps are very steps are pretty simple. You can just download the setup and install that like other softwares. So after installing that, you need to uh, you need to just uh, verify that composer has been installed. So when you write composer, okay, when you write composer in the command line, so it will show the updated things. It will show the commands and all the things. So it means composer has been successfully installed. So we have we have a two way to install Laravel, okay. And first of all, the first way is we can if you go if you if we go to the documentation of laravel and uh, here we will go to the documentation they have explained very well uh, you can uh, see that so i'll uh, straightly jump to the installation part and uh, here we are so installation via composer so you can run this command composer create project laravel and they have a you can install laravel as this is the name of the app okay and uh, i have i have explained this multiple times in my all projects so uh, you can uh, whenever you, you whenever you access any project or any playlist uh, you can see that so okay so uh, composer create product this is the first command uh, with the help of this command you we, we can uh, install laravel with and uh, create project okay and uh, after that we will see the example app php artisan server artisan is a command line which comes with laravel and run the server okay we don't need we we it will uh, it will show the port and it will show the address you can simply run the server we will see that we will do this i will show you that what it, it means and the second command is you can install the laravel installer via composer and then with the help of that installer you can install the project you can create the project so this is the command for installing the installer and the second command to uh, create the project and after that the two things are common you will go to the project and artisan server okay so this is the installation part that uh, how we can install the composer or how we can create the project in laravel okay so i have uh, already created the project with the laravel new gym system uh, sorry portal management system okay so i'll go to the project portal manage okay so i am in the project okay now what you need to do you can run the project if i'll go to the if i'll go to the laravel apps my folder be sure that your xamp server is running so here i will show you that my mine is not run, not running i will run the xamp server so i will start the uh, I will start the Apache and my SQL. Apache and my Apache is a HTTP server. You know that, and my SQL is a database that we are going to use, which comes with the XAMPP. 
okay so we have started the, these two services after that we can go to the list of our project and we will go to the hotel system yeah hotel manage so it will show the directory okay by default it is not showing the home page because uh, because of uh, we need to do two things in this uh, to read the public directory actually uh, this should show the public directory when we go to the public it will show the it will show the error because it will show the error because I am running the I am running the PHP version I am running the let's say PHP version 7.4 and in 7.4 we have we we do not add this comma we do not we do not add the comma and last of the element what it means is let's go to this first of all let's go to this test databases.php so this is this is very okay no problem i'll go to the xamp server i'll go to the st docs and i'll go to the laravel apps if you are also running the php version less than 8 then you will also face this issue so let me show you that how we can solve this so i will go to the hotel management and i'll go to the vendor where is vendor vendor and this is the actually in the vendor there are lots of dependencies okay so in this is laravel this is uh, we will go to the framework go to the source illuminate then testing where it is testing then concerns and test databases.php so here we are going to i'll show you that uh, we are facing error on uh, something 163 so let's go to the 163 and if i remove this okay so this is the actually this is the last element of this uh, function of this method like in the set method this is last element last argument you can say if i remove this comma then it will show everything is fine okay and now it's again saying that we need to uh, what is what is what is wrong what is wrong in this now just a second uh, it is showing something we need to remove this comp fine refresh the page and here we are showing the home page uh, you understand that uh, why, uh, why it is uh, why it is showing the error because in the last argument we don't need the comma because uh, Laravel is Laravel 8 is made with the PHP 8 and in the according to the PHP 8 documentation we can't put the comma at the end of the last argument okay so this is the thing okay so we have solved this error okay and we have installed the Laravel and uh, with the help of composer we have created this project so i have shown you that how we can create the project now let's go for the okay before going to another step let me show you that how we can remove this public from the url i know that i have already told you that uh, we can do this but again we are working in the new project so i'll go to this i am going to uh, i'm going to show you again so first uh, the first thing is we need to rename this server.php to index.php at the root and then we need to remove the not remove we need to copy this htaccess to the root folder okay and then we can remove this and we can run this and here you can see that now it is running without <coughs> public in the url so finally we have installed the project and now we are going to use our home page so what we need to do so let's uh, go to this structure how it is running when we go to this url then the first thing it will call the route so let's go to the route and let's go to the web okay and in the web we have when we call this when we call the route then it will run the function where it will return the view okay it will return the view welcome okay so where it is the where is the welcome so if i go to the project and root and resources and here is the view so this view function is this view function is reading the 
reading the template in the views resources views folder okay and in the views folder it is reading the blade template because laravel default working the blade template okay so now it is uh, reading the blade dot blade uh, uh, welcome dot blade dot php let me sh let me say let's say it it should run home okay so we need to create home first so what we will do we will create the home dot blade dot php at the same level and we just put the simple html okay home page and let put the home page okay and refresh this so here you can see that now it is loading the home page okay so this is the thing that how it is working from the url it direct what to uh, what to show and in the url we are running the function and in the function we are returning the view and in the view whatever we are doing now we need to set up the bootstrap 5 so how we can do that we need to learn how we can attach the we can attach the external file simply you uh, you know that but how we can attach the local file what it means let me show you get bootstrap and if i go to the docs uh, and if i simply copy this and paste it here just simply paste it it will start running the bootstrap because it will it is a uh, it is fetching the uh, main.css from the cdn now my question is here if i put this in my local folder then how we can read that okay so what i will do i will copy this path okay copy this and paste it here and just simply save this in my folder uh, in my xam server in my sd docs in my laravel apps and hotel manage and uh, whatever you have the assets like images css js we you need to put this on all in a public folder and in the public folder i will say bs5 and in this i will say bootstrap i have saved this okay currently we are going to we are going to just save the bootstrap uh, css file so now we need to add, add the path so i will remove i will just simply this and remove this okay and add this so how we can run this path so first what we need to do we have a function asset so what it will do it will go to the root and from the root we will go to the public and from the public we will go to the bs5 and from there we will add the min.css okay so refresh the page and here you you can see that it, it is running with the bootstrap 5 so we have successfully configured this bootstrap 5 okay so we have settled our all things we need uh, that we need to require to start the project okay and in the next video we will start the project we will so how uh, we will see how we can create the home page and all the things we will start the project okay currently we have settled all the all our things so we have learned that how we can add the how we can attach the css js and all the things and uh, we have seen that how route is how route is working okay so we have completed this all steps okay i hope you know about the zamp and all the things because if you are doing the laravel then you have a basic knowledge of uh, php and how php works okay so thanks for thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much and please share subscribe like this channel like this video add your thoughts about this video add uh, uh, support me on uh, if you go to the like uh, if you go to the channel and uh, please support me with the help of a subscription uh, subscribe and click on the bell icon thank you so much